Thank you. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you here virtually. I'm very glad to have um, this opportunity to share some good practices of Korean ecotourism with you today. Uh, successful ecotourism development requires um, many um, the elements already other speakers talked about, you know, such as you know, good policies, local communities, capacity, and economically sustainable business development. But I would like to emphasize the importance of governance among stakeholders and apply sustainability criteria into the whole process of ecotourism development and operation. Uh, we have several public authorities promoting ecotourism in Korea, as you can see on the screen. But um, with the given limited time, I'd like to focus on the ecotourism destinations designated by the Korean Ministry of Environment. Uh, since December 2013, we have a total of 29 uh, national ecotourism destinations. One of the key requirements for these destinations is the um, establishment of a local ecotourism association as a leading group of the development and management uh, of ecotourism, but engaging various stakeholders. Another important requirement is a continued capacity building programs under a multiple year plan covering social, economic, cultural, and environmental sustainability. And we assess the destination's activities every three years in terms of their sustainability achievement level. Um, the environmental, uh, environment ministry and the local government jointly support the destination's activities uh, financially, but the fund is small compared to other government local supporting projects. But the small fund focused on the resident capacity building and the collaborative decision making process, having brought many successful stories. I mentioned about the regular assessment of sustainability uh, earlier. We apply 23 criteria to assess the destination as you can see on the screen. Uh, I'm not sure that how much you're familiar with the global sustainable tourism criteria known as the GSTC criteria. Uh, there are two sets of criteria for any types of tourism destinations and the industry, mainly covering hotels and the tour operators. Anyway, we developed these 23 criteria based on the GSTC destination criteria. Um, one of the achievements of the Korean ecotourism destinations that I would like to highlight today is that the de destinations, um, basically the communities, uh, clearly understand the goals of ecotourism, such as the welfare of residents, along with the conserved environment. I have been leading the assessment since 2016, uh, the year we started assessment. Uh, when our team go to the destination to assess them, we do check if they monitored the number of visitors, but we pay more attention to the quality of the number. Therefore, we assess if the visitor numbers was under their carrying capacity, how the profits was distributed, how much satisfied with the ecotourism situation uh, the resident was, et cetera. So one of the most impressive stories is a resident round the table discussion, uh, which all residents together and discuss different issues, including the direction of ecotourism development. Uh, across all age groups, from the elders to the children, attend the discussion and raise their voices. It makes the resident to listen to different voices, and also they have to take a responsibility on their decision because they decide 
which way they will go and then which resources they will use you know, for uh, ecotourism development. The resident group um, also leads the environmental monitoring activities with the local uh, expert uh, uh, support before focusing what product they will sell to tourists, that they focus on learning about their nature and their culture, and also focus on more sustainable lifestyle. If they are not sustainable, how do they ask the tourists to be sustainable? So these are some of the vineyards a destination sell in the uh, visitor center. And these are essay and poem books. Uh, these are local grandmothers and the grandfathers who wrote and painted as one of community ecotourism development activities. And to curious what content the books have, um, we should not ignore uh, economic sustainability, of course. Uh, if there are no steady profits, you know, it may be more difficult to protect the natural environment. Uh, from the typical development pressure. Gradually, the ecotourism destinations in Korea are establishing more community-based social enterprises. So far, the local associations have led many different activities such as serving meals and the ecotour activities based on the reservation because most people are farmers, you know, so they have no time to have uh, 24 hours open restaurants or shops. Uh, so it's uh, basically they got the reservation. Uh, many of the nations now have reached to certain level of capacity and decided to establish community-based but more systematic ecotourism enterprises so they can secure more economic sustainability. Social enterprises or other businesses run by uh, local ecotourism associations have a transparent reporting system. And then they also have, they have to reinvest a certain agreed percentage of the profits in both environmental conservation and the community welfare enhancement. These are included in our assessment criteria. Of course, they are, uh, they are not perfect. There are uh, always a conflict big and small among stakeholders. And then there are risk of over tourism. And then they also confront, you know, with the difficulties of securing businesses socially and economically sustainable. And then there are big rooms to improve or mitigating climate change more aggressively. But sustainable tourism is about a journey. Ecotourism destinations in Korea have started their journey towards sustainable ecotourism. And then they, they are contemplating and solving problems together through open discussion. I'm very proud of these desti destinations as they are overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic crisis by focusing more on capacity building and then pursuing of being more sustainable. They really want to you know, get some um, tangible achievement as a sustainable community, so sustainable community members. I will see you have a chance to visit our ecotourism destinations and then enjoy listening to more touchable their stories in addition to the beautiful nature and culture. Thank you very much.